Tonight, the MBTA is offering free rides to subway passengers after a power outage this morning left thousands of commuters stranded. The T apologized to riders, promising to win their trust back. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Boston tonight. And Beth, we have said it more than once. You can't overstate it. People are fed up with the T. Definitely an understatement. And what happened this morning, adding insult to injury. The T is hoping that by opening up these ferry gates for a few hours, it'll ease the pain of an electrical failure for which they are still trying to determine a cause. And they waited and waited until some couldn't wait anymore. I didn't even get on at him working, and now I'm going to walk to work. Georgia O'Connor among the frustrated, stranded riders who were stuck when power went out on the orange, green, and blue lines for three hours during rush hour due to a cable failure. It's strange that they're not showing when the train's going to arrive. Joe Au turned around and went home so she could attend a meeting online and then try again. It's just a lot of back and forth, and I guess I paid for the train fare and had to pay again. No train times, no lights with some stations left in the dark, riders using cell phones to illuminate their way until the trains got going again. North Station was dark. The escalators weren't moving, and the trains were, well, it was rush hour. The 30-year-old cable was one of seven connected to an electrical substation at North Station. But when it failed, safety protocols were triggered, and circuit breakers deactivated the others, leaving MBTA General Manager Philip Eng, who came by train to a press briefing, to apologize to the riding public once again. And I want the public to know that we apologize for the inconvenience to their travel this morning. I know how disruptive if that was to them. Were you getting any information about the problem? No. And that's a problem for Boston Mayor Michelle Wu, who acknowledges the T is working to make improvements, but communication a key area. The concerns are pretty consistent across the board that it, we just want predictability. Public confidence is something where we're going to have to continue to demonstrate every day. It's free for like the next three hours. And now, as a goodwill gesture to the riding public, free fares from 3 to 7. You're so inconvenienced in the morning, that's the least I can do in the afternoon. Now, the general manager says dozens of workers were dispatched to stations this morning to try to get the trains moving at least manually for a time. But many riders say they are in no mood for an apology. Reporting live from Government Center, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.